Hi, last weekend I had some family and friends visiting me. And not surprisingly, they were having issues. Like one woman, she was very uh, concerned about her husband because he had developed some sort of strange health issue, something just below the surface of his skin. And this has been going on for months and months. He's she is terrified that something really, really terrible is going on underneath and that he's going to get sick. And he's quite a successful person. He makes a, a good living. And then another of my friends, she's having trouble with her mother. This has been going on for a long time. She doesn't feel like she was ever loved by her mother and her mother feels criticized and feels like she's not good enough and they just fight with each other. And don't you just want to jump in there and help them? Because you know that you have the solution. And maybe you try, maybe you give suggestions. What I've learned is that it doesn't work. You cannot give coaching away for free. It's a contract. It's a commitment between you and your client. You cannot help your family or your friends unless they are willing to have a contract with you to make a commitment. But we do it because it feels good, because we have this desire to be, to feel successful, to be actually coaching and making a difference. Or there's another way, the strategy session, the breakthrough session, the discovery session, that really should only be 15 minutes long. But you set it up for an hour and sometimes an hour and a half. And what do you do? They tell you don't coach, but you coach because maybe that's the only time you're ever really coaching is when you're on the strategy session and you feel like you're making a difference. And sometimes, you actually do make a difference. And then they go away and they don't need your work anymore because you've solved their problem. And you tell them what you charge and they get upset. How dare you charge that much? And then you feel, oh, maybe I'm charging so too much. So you lower your rates. And they still think it's too much and you lower your rates more and you lower your rates more. And you're working like crazy and you have the same number of clients as you had before when you were charging the higher rates but now you're working three times ten times as much and you have less money would you like to stop that is that does that just drive you crazy you work so hard and then you feel like a failure so now you now you don't want to do any more discovery sessions because you always feel like you're not landing them. You feel like an idiot. Well, so then what do you do? You try to figure out one of these online internet solutions, the funnel, where you don't have to interact. All you have to do is create great copy, which some of these places give you, and then the money will just roll in and you don't have to do anything. You have these nice online programs and you never even have to interact with these people. Not. It's just another scheme for somebody else to make money off of you. Oh, and then there's the pyramid scheme where the big guru guy who attracts all the clients, he trickles them down to you where you have to land them so you're still doing the freaking strategy sessions but now you only get a commission and you're just you're just selling his work you're not really doing what you're meant to do so what are you going to do what can you do about this my experience is it's the underlying pattern it goes back to our childhood and how we learned how to survive. You might wonder, 
well, what's so hard about surviving now? I mean, it's pretty easy, you know, we've got grocery stores and cars and we don't have to worry about being attacked by bears or lions. Actually, it's pretty complicated. Our social world is way more complicated. And here's the other problem. We are social beings. We survive by bonding with other human beings, by connecting with them. And when we're little children, it's very, very important for you to be loved and bonded with your parents because you cannot survive on your own. You need them to survive. So the, the uh, biological mechanisms that are inside of you that make that bonding happen are very powerful. And when it doesn't quite work, when your mother or your father doesn't love you unconditionally, when they make demands or they're unsatisfied or they're crazy or they are they run away or they abandon you or they abuse you, you find ways to survive. And you have survived and that's where you are right now. As you get into adult life and trying to make a difference in the world, when you're trying to, to be a coach or a healer, you find that those patterns of survival get in your way. They block you. The people pleaser, that's one of the patterns. That's what makes you give away your, your gifts for free. That's what makes you lower your prices because you want to please people. And that's what makes you feel worthless and a failure when you don't succeed, when you don't get your client. And the big formulas, they don't work. They, they do not take care of the problem. Or that, that 10 minute little exercise they do in the big three day weekends where you say, I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I'm sorry. That stuff does not go away like that. This, this, these patterns, which have been developed over 10, 15, 20, 30 years, 40 years, they do not go away like that. Not through tapping, not through EMDR, not through uh, these powerful healing modalities where the guru, the guru or the shaman does, shakes bells over you. It takes work. It takes effort. It takes identifying what it is that's holding you back. And there are a lot of different patterns. It isn't just a simple thing of, well, it's either your dad or your mom. Usually it's both. Oftentimes, it's the lack of unconditional love with your mother, which develops the people-pleasing pattern. You know what I found? Underneath all the patterns, and I'll name a few others, there is that desire to get approval from others. So there's the controlling pattern. That's when, you, when your childhood is so chaotic that you're trying to hold it all together. And it does feel good when you create a certain amount of peace or you make sure that you survive, but it has an impact on you. Usually coaches are not that way because in order to be a coach or a healer, you really need to identify with the other person. You need to be able to have access to your feelings and controllers usually aren't. They're too busy controlling. Another pattern is the performer. That's the person, like uh, my friend's husband, who is really excellent at performing and, and getting uh, attention, but they haven't ever dealt with the emotional stuff. And that, I believe, is why her husband is having problems, is that the emotions are like they're on the skin, they're trying to get out. Ultimately, what you need is balance. You need balance in your life. That's what I offer is to create balance between the emotions and success 
and relationships and meaning so that everything works together. And best of all, that you also have, you have the tools for creating the balance, but also for getting back into balance when life changes, because life does change. So the patterns. I had a client who came to me. By the way, a lot of times they come to me in the midst of a crisis. So she came to me because she was having health problems, a little like my friend's husband. She was having these neurological reactions to her body. And why? Because she was overworking. I mean, really overworking, even more than what lawyers do in terms of overworking. And she uh, was worried about her health. And she had heard me speak, and we started working together. And she had a big breakthrough recently where she stopped she actually slowed down her amount of work. She actually started taking time off. But here's the thing that happens, is that when you stop working and you actually give yourself time, you start to realize what you've been trying to avoid. A lot of people who work all the time are trying to avoid emotional issues underneath. Like my friend's husband, the emotional issues that he doesn't want to deal with. What I find though is that the body, the body wants you to know. And if you ignore, it will just turn up the volume until you finally listen. Another way in which people come to me is through loss or grief. I have a uh, client who had the love of her life. She had a really difficult childhood and she married this man who gave her a sense of safety and a sense of appreciation. And then he died. You cannot expect somebody else to fulfill all of your needs. You need to learn how to take care of your own needs. That's part of the healing process because you never know when life changes is going to change. So anyway, here she is. She actually mourned the loss of her husband for 20 years till she came and worked with me. And we released the emotions and we went back to the patterns that she had developed when she was a young child and healed those. And now she's actually back into her life again. You know, you can actually, when, when you have a significant loss, you can like get stuck in your tracks and actually live a life that is, is not, um, it's like the walking dead. That's why my, my website, my business is called Secrets of Life and Death because it's about really living your life. I firmly believe that we are here to make a difference that we have a purpose. And you know what? Human beings are the only animals that have the need to have meaning in their lives, that need purpose. And when they don't have it, they are really unhappy. They are, I mean, look at it. Look at the statistics. Do you know that, oh, that like one in six humans uh, in this country are on some sort of psychotropic drug, like tranquilizers or uh, antidepressants. And that doesn't account for all the other people who are taking care of themselves, uh, that is um, medicating themselves through uh, recreational drugs or alcohol or overworking or Facebook or texting or computer games. We really do need to have to fulfill our purpose. Now you're on your way. You're the coaches, the healers, the transformers. All you need to do is work on that early pattern and get it so that it's working for you instead of blocking you so that you can develop trust in yourself. That's what you actually need. You need to trust yourself. You cannot sell your program if you don't believe in yourself. You, nobody is going to trust you if you don't trust yourself. That's what my program helps my clients to do.
is to believe in themselves, to have some success. We start with getting you some success in your life. And as you start to feel the success, you, the underlying patterns, they surface. It's the perfect way is you start changing what you're doing and all your fears and all your worries come to the surface. And that's when we can work on them. That's when we can actually change them. When you understand what the underlying dynamic is. Does that resonate with you? Would you like some support so that you stop giving away your gifts for free? Don't wait until the universe starts tapping you on the shoulder or your body starts screaming at you that it's time to change the way in which you are dealing with your life. Let's have a conversation, an introductory conversation, and find out what your underlying patterns are that are holding you back and find out how I can help you to move forward towards your purpose, mission, and dream. All you have to do is go ahead over there and, well, actually it's over there, and click on the link and let's have a conversation. I believe that the world needs every one of us. Like um, Martha Graham talks about, that, that um, choreographer talks about, there's this life force, this, this power that we, each of us have, which is unique and individual. And when we step into that, we start to make a difference in the world. There, there are hundreds and thousands of people out there that need our help, and we can help change this planet. I mean, just think about it. How many of your friends are struggling? How many people do you know are struggling with some sort of emotional baggage? Either they're ignoring it, they're working crazy, like crazy. And it's not just about the money. It's about having a life that's in balance. So go ahead, reach out to me and let's have a conversation. And Let's get you moving towards, not just moving towards, let's get you some success in your life, some balance in your life, and some tools that will help you to navigate the changes that are part of our existence. That's all I have for today. Be brilliant, and bye for now.